All right, everyone, this is Tim with the Big Blue, bringing the best in New York Giants sports talk with our team. Well, the Giants are making the shakeup. They're cleaning house. They're taking out the trash. They're getting rid of some guys. Joe Shane has made his first move to put his stamp on this team in a reference to his scouting staff. Uh, he, of course, has fired both the director of college scouting and the senior director, uh, I should say the senior per, uh, senior personal dir- personnel director, and Kyle O'Brien. We're not going to talk about Chris. Chris, of course, is the <laughs> director of college scouting. He's been around for a while. I don't even want to say his full name because it just makes me sick because he's been around there forever and he's basically helped destroy this team. But both of them are gone. And I do find it interesting that both were seated next to each other with other guys that they're referring to as key influencers of the second room of the war room during the draft. Uh, it's time to move on from, from these guys because they're Gettleman guys. Chris had been with the organization for 13 years, started as an area scout, and then he was promoted during Gettleman's first season in 18. Uh, Ken O'Brien, he was added 14 months ago, worked for the Lions. I didn't know he was, I think he was the, uh, he's the son of the former Giants team doctor. I didn't know that. Um, but these are guys that, you know, they, they've, they, well, Chris more than Kyle, but they've been involved in the, uh, the situation, pro- the process of picking players and deciding on players. Um, it's one of those things that I, uh, you know, it's time. The timing is never right to fire people. And I've seen on Twitter and I've seen people saying, well, they had, these two had no say in anything that the giants did. And that's one of the dumbest statements I've heard. They didn't sit there for five months, twiddling their thumbs and doing nothing for the organization. Cause if that was the case, the giants would have fired them. They were working on the draft. <laughs> The final decision, the final say is always the general manager, the head coach, and the owner. Well, not really the owner, but in this case it is. But they didn't just sit there and do nothing for five months, and then all of a sudden they got fired. And don't forget, Shane came out and said that, you know, I have to evaluate everyone in the building. Remember that? Shane was asked Saturday about making scouting changes, and he said, this was on Saturday, uh, said that he had not even thought about it yet. It's ob- and, and so, I mean, what, could it be a lie? Of course he thought about it because more than likely he just wanted to talk to these guys privately before firing them. But Shane has said all, all along that uh, he wanted to, you know, give everyone in the building, everyone in the room a chance before he let him go. So it is, it is what it is. I mean, it's, it's not, you know what the funny thing is, it's not an uncommon move for this to happen. You are, this is the type of move is, ex, is, 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 is expected, excuse me, I can't talk today, to happen. And it's not uncommon for new general managers to fire their guys, fire the previous guys, and bring in their own guys. Some people are saying that the timing makes sense because the Giants were midway through the scouting cycle and, yeah, and Shane didn't want to disrupt things. I honestly think it would have made, I personally think it would have made more sense to whack the guys immediately especially these two, because you, you, you have an opportunity to start anew. You have an opportunity to you, your scouting information is still your scouting information is still going to be there. Your scouts are still in place. You're just removing the two guys who basically are helping running the show. And we hired someone from Philadelphia. Remember, Brandon, we hired someone from Philadelphia to come in to kind of do the same thing. So why not move them in the process there? You were halfway through the process. I understand that, but there was plenty of time to move your guys into the cycle. I get it. I get it from both regards. Cause if you, actually, if you take a look, you know, you take a look at the 18 draft, only Saquon Barkley is left. <laughs> so, I mean, it was time to move on from these guys. It was time to move forward. Only five of the 10 picks from 19 remain on this team. So, I mean, you got to give Shane credit for making the move swiftly. Like I said, my only thing was I would like to have seen it done a little sooner. Get out the information because of the fact that this is this is the problem. This is the problem I'm going to tell you right now. If all these picks fail, let's say these let's say a lot of the picks fail after the first round. Let's just say let's just say for argument's sake, the picks fail. They're going to blame these two guys. And I think that's in some regards could be a reason why Shane kept him around because it also helps him buy him another season while he gets his guys in place. Cause he'd be like, well, those, those weren't really my guys making the picks. Those weren't my guys scouting. 
So it's an astute move in some ways. But like I said, I've always believed that if you're taking something over, you're doing something new, you just take out the trash. You just get a big broom and wipe everyone out. I remember when they hired Shane, the fans were complaining they were keeping the scouting personnel. And why doesn't he fire him? And now everyone says it's the greatest. Shane, you need, Mr. Joe Shane, I'm going I'm to I'm speak directly to you. You need to enjoy these moments. Because right now you have carte blanche. You can do no wrong. You could fart on a snare drum and people right now would say it was a symphony, the fan base. You could so enjoy this. Because I'm going to tell you this right now. You have carte blanche until the season kicks off. And if you guys go 0 and 4, they're going to be calling for your head. Because I refer to it as the definitive Giant fan. Right now, the Giant fans definitively think you can do no wrong. And then once things start going south, and we know it's going to go south. <laughs> we all know it's going to go south. It's not, a, it's not a secret. The cupboard is bare. But once it starts going south, the definitive giant fan is going to tell you you need to be fired and you're doing everything wrong and you should have fired these guys from day one. So you can't win. So enjoy the moment, Joe. Say with you, Brian. Enjoy the moment. Because I'm going to tell you this, unless you start winning immediately, this is as good as it's going to get for you. So enjoy the moment. Do what you need to do to make this team, this organization, and this franchise successful. And I think getting rid of these, taking out the trash right now, you're heading down the right route. You're heading in the right direction. Kayvon Thibodeau and Evan Neal, two fantastic picks in the first round. You, may, you potentially have found two, start, two day one starters in the first round. Anything after that's going to be gravy. Enjoy the moment because you know what? <laughs> I've said it. I, I've said it before. My one of my favorite scenes in Crash Davis is Nuke Lelouch comes off the field after he's striking out the side, and you know he's 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 extolling his own virtues in the dugout, and Crash is looking at him and he starts he starts belittling him and berating him, and he's like, "Your fastball was this, your throwball was you know your curveball was this," and the show they would have lit you lit you up. And Nuke looks at Crash and says, "Can I just enjoy the moment?" And Crash stands up sheepishly looks at him and says, enjoy the moment because the moment because the moment's over. And that's what this is going to be. This is a moment in time. It's time to get to work. And again, this is Tim with the Online Big Blue bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk entertainment. And as always, if you could like, if you subscribe, if you ring that button, it means that'd be awesome.